reading dial calipers. The dial caliper has a linear scale from 0 to 6 inches and a dial scale to read down to 1 1,000th of an inch. The linear scale shown here is a little bit over 2 inches. Inches are broken up into tenth of an inch. Each tenth of an inch is equal to 1 100th of an inch. The dial reads down to 1 1,000th of an inch. Here we see that one revolution of the dial will equal 1 100,000th of an inch. The dial is used to read the increments between the lines on the linear scale. When the caliper is closed with the thumb wheel, the trailing edge of the slider should line up with the zero line on the linear scale. In addition, the pointer on the dial should line up with the dial zero line. When the slider is opened exactly one hundred thousandths of an inch, the dial pointer will go around exactly one revolution. The trailing edge of the slider will now line up exactly with the one or one hundred thousandths of an inch line on the linear scale. When the slider scale opening is increased to the large number one on the linear scale and the dial is on zero, this measurement will be exactly one inch. The new slider position is at 422 thousandths of an inch. Since there is a zero to the far left, this tells me I'm measuring between zero and one inch. Since the slider trailing edge is not exactly on the four, or any other number, and the dial is not on zero, my measured value is between 400 thousandths of an inch and 500 thousandths of an inch. The exact distance is shown on the dial. The dial reads 22 thousandths of an inch. Therefore, this measured value is 400 thousandths of an inch plus 22 thousandths of an inch, or 422 thousandths of an inch. The slider position has now been moved to a value slightly greater than 2 inches. This is evident by the large 2 to the left of the trailing edge. Zooming in reveals a small portion of the 1 100 thousandths of an inch line at the trailing edge. Don't be fooled. Look at the dial. It reads 95 thousandths of an inch. This measurement is just 5 thousandths of an inch shy of the 100 thousandths of an inch line. Therefore, this measured value is 2 inches and 95 thousandths of an inch.